Hey guys, Training Blood, back again with another video, and I'm here to give you my not review of Dunkirk. Saw the film today, I saw it about two hours ago, I came back two hours ago, I meant. So, now I'm here to give you my thoughts. What did I think of Dunkirk? Guys, I thought Logan was the best film of 2017 and I loved a ton of movies that came out after that I was loving a lot of them I gave a lot of them 10 out of 10 but I didn't think nothing was gonna top Logan itself man was I wrong about that guys Dunkirk was freaking amazing guys Okay, this film was incredible, and I saw it on Christopher Nolan's birthday, that was intentional by the way, and I'm so happy that I did, happy 47th Christopher Nolan, genius, you know, um, thank you for making this amazing movie, um, but I'm getting a bit off topic now, uh, just, you can call me a Christopher Nolan fanboy all you want, but really, the Dunkirk was amazing, guys, um, and, uh, when the film was finished, guys, I actually, um, overheard a lady who I was watching it with in the theater, said it was terrible, said that they should have gone to see Baby Driver, and, uh, you know what, it's okay to be wrong, just saying, because I don't know what type of crack that mental bitch is smoking, but whatever and um, another funny thing in the theater guys I actually uh, there was this young couple they were weirdos by the way they actually took like their five-year-old daughter in with them to see Dunkirk like I don't know why anyone would take their their little kid to see a movie like Dunkirk um, it's probably the parents who wanted to see it but still I would have recommended like taking them to a friend's house or something while you go see Dunkirk, but whatever. I'm gonna go back to the topic of the actual film, guys. And the film, guys, it's, uh, it's really, um, uh, you really, I really can't describe, like, the amazingness of Dunkirk, guys. Um, best film of 2017, easily. Um, I really don't see anything topping it. This was better than Interstellar, in my opinion. Like, really. Um, and... And, uh, in my opinion, Chris Malone's best film since The Dark Knight Rises. And, yes, guys, I'm one of those people who considers The Dark Knight Rises a masterpiece, okay? Because it really is. But, I'm just talking about Chris Malone's greatness and the movie itself, guys. Like I said, it's an amazing, amazing experience. Like I said, you've got to see it for yourself, guys. And please... Please, for the love of science, see it in theaters. Please, guys. If you haven't seen it already, you got to see it in theaters. I mean, as much as I can't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray, I feel like you got to see it in theaters to get the full, like, effect, you know what I mean? Not that you couldn't get, not that, not like you won't be able to get the full effect from watching it on Blu-ray, but I'm just saying, you know, you'll, do, you'll be doing yourself a favor by seeing it in uh, theaters guys and um like I said the film really is an experience um and I asked for what the film's about it's really like um um like three different pers perspectives of the, of the whole Dunkirk event you know um you got the air you got the sea and you got land Basically, you know, you got the Air Force, the boats, one of the boats at sea, and uh, got the men on the beach. 400,000, I believe. And um, uh, basically, there isn't much dialogue, but as I said once again, the film really is an experience, guys. Um, and what the characters do in the film is. Um, it tells the story, you know, 
and the score guys the score is absolutely tremendous I can't tell you guys how amazing the score is especially hearing it in theaters guys it was unreal and I will forever take um, I heard a I heard an actual veteran of the actual Dunkirk incident um, said that at the premiere of Dunkirk um, who by the way this guy's a Dunkirk uh, veteran if I didn't mention that said um, that watching this film it was like being it was like being there all over again and I took that to heart I never forget what that man said and I did feel like I was there a couple of times it was so suspenseful guys it was a survival story rather than a war movie and um, it was amazing just like you never knew when something was going to happen you never knew when um, the characters were going to get attacked by the enemy you know it was just um, you know it was just like from the first couple minutes I was hooked guys seriously and I told my friend this but um, when I saw the film when I saw the film literally about 10 minutes in the movie I almost walked out I was tempted to walk out guys because I literally thought I couldn't handle the epicness of the film seriously it almost brought tears to my eyes that's how much I love this movie guys um, and if, if I had done this I know I, I might be sounding normal but like I said I came home about two hours ago so I've already calmed down from the excitement and stuff yeah, this is probably my longest um, thoughts video to date, easily, but that's alright, you know. Um, I, I used to want to keep it under six minutes, but for this film, it's okay. And um, I pretty much said everything i got to say. Performances were awesome, the directing was amazing, the score was amazing, soundtrack, you know. Even Harry Styles, who was in the movie, was, was good, you know. Christopher Nolan, God himself, you have done it once again, my friend. Second time I clapped in this video, I think. Um, but, um, and I saw it, I, pro I probably did mention that it was Christopher Nolan's birthday already, but happy birthday, Christopher Nolan, once again. And, um, man, Dunkirk was amazing, guys. Uh, can't wait to get on Blu-ray, probably for Christmas, you know. But, um... Anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it. This this is like the fifth time I've, I've tried to film this thoughts video like a bajillion times, guys. So I think I've nailed it finally. You know, there was stuff I forgot to mention and stuff. Um, if I forgot anything else to mention, uh, probably uh, wasn't anything big, you know. But anyway, that's my thoughts video, guys. And it's July 30th, um, like I said. Rick and Morty season three finally back on. Got my post of Rick and Morty back there. Uh, I can't wait for that. I'm gonna watch the crap out of that. Uh, guys, if you want me to review um, Rick and Morty episodes, um, comment below because I'm considering it. But the thing is, I want to know if people would actually want to see that. So, yep, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Um, hope you guys loved Dunkirk as much as I did. Um, and, uh, you guys have a great day and stuff, so, uh, peace out, guys.